Hello, hello, thanks for joining me today. Um, we're gonna learn how to do a badge buddy from the very start to finish. Um, so um, if you're ready to go, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and start with our plain acrylic blank. I got these blanks from Zindi. I like that they offer the 1 16th thickness of acrylic. Um, just because uh, it doesn't cause it to be quite so heavy whenever you add the resin and the glitter mixtures on top of it. So um, after I have secured all of my badge buddies um, or the badge buddy that I'm going to start working on, I will go ahead and take my weeding tool and I will just lift the very corner of this here um, and then I will finish peeling off this um, to reveal the badge buddy underneath. Okay, once you've taken off um, the very top part of the paper backing, then I will take just some 220 grit sandpaper. I will sand this entire thing really well so that you can see there's, um, it's more of a matte finish. I do this for a couple of reasons. The main reason is that it gives um, your glitter and resin mixture a place that it can um, grab onto. Um, so it gives a wider surface area or more of a surface area for it to grab onto. Otherwise, you could have a problem with your glitter and resin um, layer peeling up from the acrylic itself. After you've done that, then I just take my little spray bottle that has 91% alcohol in it. Um, I will just go ahead and give it a quick spray down. I will then um, wipe it with a dust-free cloth so that we're all ready to go and we're ready for our uh, glitter mixture at this time. Okay, so we're now at the spot where we have our blank um, acrylic piece that we've already sanded down, wiped down with alcohol, and we're ready to make our glitter mixture and go ahead and apply that. Um, I will go ahead and take my Resin Rockers UV Resin. Um, for these bigger badge buddies, I do like to fill it just over two and a half mils of UV Resin, and we can always add more if we need to. I'm gonna be using rose gold. Um, this is Zindi's fine rose gold um, today to make this. And I just make, I like a really full coverage glitter. So um, I will add quite a bit of glitter to my resin until I have a really thick honey mixture. And I'll show y'all here in just a minute. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let me add just a little bit more resin. Um, it's a little thick. I want it to be able to spread nicely, but still have full coverage. Okay, so you can see here that this is a really thick honey kind of consistency, I would say. Um, so it doesn't just dribble off um, very easily. Um, this is going to ensure that you have a really good coverage um, and full coverage glitter. Okay, directly after you've um, gone ahead and mixed your glitter together, you will just simply put it on your blank directly. And then I just take my little um, silicone makeup brushes and I will just start um, pulling it over to the sides. I'll continue this until it's all covered over the entire badge buddy. And I just kind of, you know, move it around. I'm not shy with it. Um, it is a pretty thick mixture, so you're not gonna have to worry about it over spilling on the sides of your um, badge buddy quite as bad as you would if it's just, you know, regular UV resin. Um, one thing I will also say is that if you're putting um, some vinyl over the top like we're going to be doing with this one, um, if you have a few little spots that are not, you know, 100% covered, but you don't um, want to make any more um, glitter and resin mix, uh, that's okay because it's going to be covered by the vinyl. So. If you're trying to be a perfectionist and get this 100% perfect, um, just know that you're going to be covering some of it up. Obviously, you don't want huge holes, but if there's a few uneven spots up here, um, 
I wouldn't worry too much about it because this is going to be the main part that you see um, after you put your vinyl on. So if, if what you need to focus on is just that bottom part, um, then feel free. Don't get overwhelmed with this part because this is just kind of a little base layer that you have. And once you get the mixture down um, to the consistency that you like it, you'll be able to kind of um, know in the future and get, get the hang of how you like your um, resin and glitter mix to look. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and because Resin Rockers is a self-leveling resin, I will go ahead and hit this with heat, pop any little micro bubbles that I have from uh, mixing it, and then I will go ahead and uh, let this rest for just a few minutes before I put it underneath my UV light. So that's what I'm gonna do now, and I will see y'all whenever it's all cured. Okay, we're back. Um, this is all completely cured. I've put this underneath my light. Um, so now we're at the part where we're, go we're going to put our, um, our vinyl on top. Um, if you buy your um, SVG blanks from Zindi, um, they will come with the file that you need. And I've used the one that is an inset from the outline. Um, in this instance, it would be the uh, dark purple SVG part of the file. So I've gone ahead and I've weeded these here. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and grab some transfer tape. Um, let me get a, get some new one. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on top of my vinyl here. Or on top of my glitter there. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead, put this on here, take my squeegee and um, make sure that it's all stuck down really well. There's no bubbles or anything so that whenever I go to adhere it to this here, it should go on nicely. So I just kind of eyeball this, line it up. Um, the easiest way I found is to line it up on one side and then whatever side is the longest for you on whichever badge buddy you're, you are working with, um, to then go down to the bottom part and kind of line up that part. And then after you've got these two pieces stuck here, I'll just take my squeegee and I'll run over it um, that way. Then go ahead and peel this off and make sure that they are all secured here. Um, and then we will go ahead and move on to our title. Um, so again, I'm going to go ahead and weed this out. If you see me, um, if you've seen any of my stuff in the past, you'll know that I like to reverse weed. Um, so I will go ahead and get a smaller piece of transfer tape here. Um, I will stick it down. I'll make sure that it's burnished really well on that transfer tape. And then I will simply peel off the backing first, then take my vinyl and I will go ahead and peel off the outside of the vinyl. That um, leaves me with just the title. If you have, if you're working with really small words or small letters, that method um, reverse weeding helps so much in um, keeping all of those little uh, pieces attached to where they're supposed to be and you don't have to go and hand place each and every little one of them. So we are now at the part where we finished all of our vinyl. We're going to go ahead and start the resining process to seal this. Okay again I'm using Resin Rockers UV Resin. I will go ahead and put um, my resin on there and then I will start working it to smooth it out. I will always do two coats on my badge buddies. I feel like it just looks more finished that way. Um, the first coat, I'm not quite as worried about it being um, perfect. I just want to make sure that I've sealed 
the vinyl and everything all in nice and good so that whenever I go to put my next coat of resin on, um, I won't have any weird micro bubbles or um, anything like that. Um, one of the most important parts uh, when working with resin rockers, resin specifically, but really any UV resin, um, resin rockers is a self-leveling resin um, and it helps um, if you let it sit to release any other little micro bubbles that you may have. So after I've put this coat on, I will hit it with my heat gun. I will let it rest a couple of minutes and then I'll put it underneath my UV light. Again, that's so that it can self level prior to putting it under the UV light and get any of the last few little micro bubbles um, out of there so that we can have a nice smooth finish. Okay, we're back. Um, so I've got this all cured with my first coat. Um, you can see that it's um, a little imperfect. Um, it's not a perfectly smooth glass like. That's why I always do a second coat. Now granted my first coat is usually pretty thin, um, but I always like to do that second coat. It just, I just feel like it makes it look a million times better even if you do a thicker first coat. So, um, I'm going to just make sure that I get hit all the edges. With this being my last and final coat, I do want to make sure that I let this sit for about five minutes prior to sealing this, or prior to putting this underneath my UV light. Um, after I have um, put all of my resin all over the blank, I will hit it with my heat gun. I will let it sit for a, a couple of minutes and then I'm going to put this up next to eye level for me um, to make sure that I didn't miss any spots. Um, if I did, then I'll correct those really quick, let it sit another couple of minutes and then I'll put it underneath or I'll check it again and I'll put it underneath my light after that. Um, if I don't see any spots that I've missed and everything is looking good, I will still let this sit for another couple of minutes um, prior to setting or prior to putting it underneath my UV light because I want to make sure that this sits at least five minutes so we have the full self-leveling effect and finish getting all these little micro bubbles up. Okay, we are back. We have cured our second coat of UV resin. You can see how pretty that glass-like finish is. Um, we're almost done, so let's head over to the very last step um, to finishing out our badge buddy. Um, you're gonna take an X-Acto knife. Um, honestly, this works better if your X-Acto knife is not like perfectly brand new. Um, if you it, if it's brand new and never been used, it's difficult for it to not cut the acrylic and just kind of smooth over the edge of your acrylic. So um, in this instance, you don't want your X-Acto knife to be 100% brand new. Used is better in this part. In this, in this instance. So you're just going to take this and you're just going to take it and just slide it up um, over the edge of your badge buddy so that you just get that little bitty piece, if you can see that, that little bitty piece of resin off of the edges. You're just gonna do this over all four edges and this does take some practice um, it's not something that you just pick up overnight. Trust me. It's still, sometimes I really struggle with this. So again, we're just going to slide this. You can see how I've just taken those little bitty pieces, um, of resin overspill. You want it nice and clean and professional. Okay. I like to run my hand over it just to make sure. Also, don't forget this little bitty piece inside. Again, you can just kind of go through with the edge of your X-Acto knife and clean that up. Oops, okay. All right, so we are all done with our um, badge buddy. Uh, of course, before you send this out, um, you would wanna take this paper backing off. Um, then you can get it all packaged up and ship it out. Um, if you have any questions, uh, make sure to comment below. 
um, and I'll be happy to answer anything that I see um, or any questions that you have. Also, um, any of these products that I use today will be linked below in my uh, description um, so that that way you can have easy and quick access to anything that you see that you love. Um, also, uh, you can save some um, different discount codes, uh, $5, 10% off, 15% off a couple different places. Um, some of them uh, I don't have discount codes for, but I love their product. So I'm still going to make sure that you have access um, and know exactly where it all came from. So if you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please go ahead and subscribe um, and like this video. And I look forward to uh, more instructional videos for y'all.